Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we offer this Holy Mass and storm the heavens our prayers to God for protection and safety in all calamities. And may God bless us with His mercy, protection, and grace. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries let us call to mind our sins and shortcomings and beg the good Lord for His mercy and pardon. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, our refuge in trials, our strength in sickness, our comfort in sorrow, spare your people, we pray, that though rightly chastised now by affliction, they may find relief at last through your loving mercy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, teach and urge these things. Whoever teaches something different and does not agree with the sound words of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the religious teaching is conceited, understanding nothing, and has a morbid disposition for arguments and verbal disputes. From this come envy, rivalry, insults, evil suspicions, 
and mutual friction among people with corrupted minds who are deprived of the truth, supposing religion to be a means of gain. Indeed, religion with contentment is a great gain, for we brought nothing into the world, just as we shall not be able to take anything out of it. If we have food and clothing, we shall be content with that. Those who want to be rich are falling into temptation and into a trap and into many foolish and harmful desires which plunge them into ruin and destruction. For the love of money is the root of all evils, and some people in their desire for it have strayed from the faith and have cursed themselves with many pains. But you, man of God, avoid all this. Instead, pursue righteousness, devotion, faith, love, patience, and gentleness. Compete well for the faith. Lay hold of eternal life to which you were called when you made the noble confession in the presence of many witnesses. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Why should I fear in evil days, when my wicked ensnarers ring me round? They trust in their wealth, the abundance of their riches is their boast. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Yet in no way can a man redeem himself or pay his own ransom to God. Too high is the price to redeem one's life. He would never have enough to remain alive always and not see destruction. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Fear not when a man grows rich, when the wealth of his house becomes great. For when he dies, he shall take none of it. His wealth shall not follow him down. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Though in his lifetime he counted himself blessed, they will praise you for doing well for yourself. He shall join the circle of his forebears, who shall never more see light. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus journeyed from one town and village to another, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. Accompanying him were the twelve, and some women 
who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out. Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward, Chusa, Susanna, and many others who provided them out of their resources. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. It is a usual way to evaluate one's life by reflecting on the questions about who we are and what we have. The question and reflection about who we are will revolve around the truths about ourselves, like our identity, and name it the whole of ourselves. On the one hand, the question about what we have won't only be concerned about material blessings or earnings, but what we have inside, talents, characters, values, so on and so forth. But it is not only enough to know who we are and what we have, it is also important to know why we live and why we have those. These thoughts resounded well from our readings today. St. Paul reminded Timothy that with all values and graces on hand, learn to pursue righteousness, devotion, faith, love, patience, and gentleness. From our gospel today, maybe you have heard some unfamiliar or maybe people who really worked from the limelight during the ministry of Christ. We have heard the names of Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Susanna, and many others. Their presence served as supporters for the works and ministry of Christ. These people knew who they are. They were apostles, leaders of the community, supporters and partners in the ministry. They knew very well what they have. They have characters. They have values. They have their own wealth. But what is important is that they also knew why they live and why did they have those. Maganda na kilala natin kung sino tayo at, may, at kung ano ang mayroon tayo. O baka araw-araw, ang araw-araw ay patuloy na pagtutuklas kung sino tayo at ano ba yung mga yaman na mayroon tayo. Well, while exploring who we are and what we have, and maybe while enjoying our identity and our, and our blessings, let us know why we have those, why we are living, and why we have blessings. You have a purpose with who you are. There is a purpose with what you have. Mary, Joanna, Susanna, and those others who help in the Lord in the ministry knew that their means and rich and riches are purposeful. Hindi inangkin ang yaman at ang, at ang sarili. Pero dahil alam ang layunin kung ano ang mayroon sa mga kamay, ito po ang nangyari. Nakatulong sa ministro ni Jesus. Nakabubuhay at nakapagpapasaya. Dahil kung hindi alam kung ano ang layunin ng mga bagay na nasa palad at marahil hindi alam ang dahilan kung bakit tayo nabubuhay, baka hindi tayo nag, natutong magbukas palad at makapagpapadanas ng pagpapala ng Diyos. My dear brothers and sisters, 
There is a purpose why we live. There is a purpose why we are blessed. Choose to recognize the purpose of who you are and what you have. And from purposiveness come the experience or experiences of graciousness and happiness towards people and even from us. Dahil alam ang dahilan bakit tayo buhay at bakit tayo pinagpala nakapagbibigay buhay at nakapagpapasaya ng lubusan. Please stand. Full of hope and confidence, we make our prayer to God the Father, anxious for, a, for an increase of His presence in our life. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may continue to grow and be a symbol of justice, love, and truth in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That as a community, we may not be idle in our life of faith, but every day seek God, even in our difficulties and trials. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That children may grow in the ways of grace and mature into Christ-like people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may be strengthened in their faith by uniting their sufferings with the suffering of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, Lord, our, hear prayer. our prayer. That our beloved dead may reap the fruits of peace, joy, and serenity in God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, we lift up to the Lord all of the prayers offered in this Mass, as well as the prayers of our brothers and sisters joining us via online streaming. We continue to pray that God may bless us with His mercy, protection, and safety from all harms, from all calamities. We pray for each other and for our own intentions. For all of these we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, help us grasp the importance of the time in which we are living. Open our hearts to your word, so that we may always bear fruit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come. come. Thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please stand. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that in receiving your sacrament, we may experience help in mind and body, so that, kept safe in both, we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.